Hey guys, in this video I want to show you a new addition to the flood coolant um, journey, I guess. I've called this an upgrade or series of upgrades in the past, but it, it seems to be never ending. So um, at this point, uh, we're calling it a journey. Anyway, um, I've been wanting to replace one of the end caps on the mill table for quite a while now. And this is the uh, factory end cap. And the reason is uh, the table is just not made for flood coolant. So what I've done is I've come up with this design, uh, which basically has a big cutout section to allow the uh, coolant to flow down. So I'm going to show you that here in a couple of minutes. But uh, I wanted to kind of walk you through uh, some of the mistakes that I made while building this part. Uh, dimensionally, it's just fine, but there's a lot of errors in it. Um, because that is kind of how it goes sometimes, and so I thought I'd show those to you. So you can see here I've left it pretty rough. Um, you can see the face milling, uh, you know, passes, and I haven't cleaned that up, and, and I'm not going to. I, I don't care that much. But like the first thing, for instance, is I put it in my bandsaw and put a knot on the line that I thought I wanted it on and uh, cut it with the bandsaw. I've got a gouge right here. I don't know what that's from. Um, I've been having this problem with my mill, uh, actually it's with my control cabinet, where I keep getting uh, the x-axis driver has a over voltage fault and it shuts it off. And it hap it's happened on my lathe quite a few times, but now it's happening on my mill when I uh, switch over to the mill. And in one of those times I lost my X steps and then when I set it back up I set it up incorrectly and it was when I was machining out this pocket up here and you can tell that this right here is larger than this they're both supposed to be an inch and I didn't even realize it was a problem until I started doing a chamfer and uh, realized that my chamfer was digging through the through the material instead of chamfering on the edge so that was kind of nice look at, somehow I messed it up on both this face and this face so yeah, a lot of problems. Uh, I don't really care. It's functionally, it's perfect. Um, the the one feature I really wanted was this drip edge, and that's working really well. And uh, so I'll show you that here in just a minute. Um, another thing is originally I had the center hole. I assumed it should go right in the center of the of the end cap, but it didn't. So I've actually had to move it over. You'll notice this is kind of oval shape now um, because. It wouldn't bolt up and then also I cut off the end of the screw um, and I think I've got some footage I'll roll in from before that uh, so now the screw does not poke through the uh, the cap anyway uh, let me stop here and um, I'll change camera position we'll talk a little bit more about it all right some of you guys know the deal uh, if you're thinking about flood coolant whatever this is the problem. This table was not designed for flood coolant. There's one little teeny uh, drain on the other side of the table and it pl it plugs full of chips so fast it's totally useless. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see what happens. Um, fills up full of coolant, coolant runs off, runs under, and uh, just runs right down the bottom side of your ways. So totally uh, makes it a giant mess. When you're trying to clean off a, a whole bunch of chips, they get down here in the end cap and you can usually get them out pretty easily with something like a brush. You might have to use a screwdriver to get the ones in the corner. If you try to put a T-slot clamp in here next, uh, you know, you're going to end up having to pick every little chip out of here. Um, and it's just kind of a nuisance. I, I kind of hate it. So that was the whole idea of coming up with this, uh, with this new one is that it'll just run right off the end. You know, no more flooding, no running over the front like this is here. You know, it's running over the back too. Um, yeah, we're just going to try and get rid of some of these problems. So uh, I thought before I took that cap off, I'd show you why I'm going through all this hassle. And, you know, we'll come back and do an after uh, shot once we get the new cap on and see how it works. Hey, right, let's take one more look at this. Why not? Uh, now you can see the, the coolant is just kind of rolling off the end of the table, which is nice. Um, but when I very first turned it on, uh, before it kind of got a steady stream going, it was still running up underneath. So I think the drip edge is going to be nice. Uh, the other nice thing is, is uh, with the end cap I have made up, uh, we'll just be able to brush the chips right out like this. I mean, I actually don't expect them to pile up quite as badly because uh, they're not going to be able to pack in. Well, maybe they will. Who knows? Um, one thing I should point out for those of you who are maybe concerned about this bearing or you know whatever's happening on this end, um, there's no thrust made on this end of the mill. The thrust is 
is made by the uh, the side that's got the stepper on it and that includes thrust in both directions so really the only thing that this bearing is doing um, while while riding inside this pocket is um, it's just keeping the screw in its place so the screw doesn't whip I, my screw doesn't whip anyway but um, that's really all it's doing it's it's used for locating um, not having a nut on the end here you might be saying oh if I cut this down which I am gonna do probably just grind it off with a with a um, Dremel uh, while it's assembled I'll just put a rag or something over this area but what you're probably thinking is is uh, you know you gotta have a nut out here well no you don't there's no thrust nothing's happening out here it doesn't matter as, and as a matter of fact the square nut that goes on this threads has been off of it for months because um, it just kept falling off and uh, and I didn't care Cause the problem is if you tighten it up If you tighten up the nut on this end you'll pinch the whole assembly and then your stepper will totally bind So um, the nut that rides out here just rides loosely anyway. I mean, it's really just there for show so uh, Yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> okay, I'll bring you back one more time here in just a minute All right, we're gonna go handheld for this last shot uh, as much as I just like doing it so here you can see uh, everything's running out real nice. Coming right out the end, just how you'd like it. Notice the drip edge is working exactly how you would expect. Let me go ahead and jog the table over. All right, no problem, let me grab a brush. So we don't have any chips in here, but you can see if there were, it's just going to be as easy as that. So, uh, you may be wondering why I didn't put the alignment pins in. I can't. I don't think I mentioned that yet um, in the video. But the alignment pins uh, would be right here, and um, they would actually they're actually above this surface. So, the the reason why the alignment pins aren't there is because they can't be there, <laughs> or uh, this is a problem. Sorry, I'm kind of holding this camera in a weird position. Anyway, um, I'll be making the uh, plan for this available on my GrabCAD. There will be a link in the description. Um, of course, you can you know modify this however you like. Um, I think when I post it, I'll post it without the rust stuff in there. You don't need to see that. And then, uh, you know, I'm sure somebody's going to make a modified version of this that's going to look way fancier than mine. This is just as crude as I could, you know, make it. Uh, you guys have probably noticed, I don't spend a ton of time trying to make my stuff fancy. I, I get to the point of functionality and then I stop. Um, but uh, that's just the way I do it. You do it how, however you need to do it. Uh, the important thing will be is the dimensions, you know, the, the mounting surfaces and everything should be correct for your uh, application if you're using the G0704. And then you can use, uh, you know, those uh, datum points to jump off and create something that looks fancy. <laughs> and uh, send me a link if you do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.